Hi, I'm John Luxford. Um, I'm a he, him. I'm uh, the chief technology officer for Flipside XR. So we make uh, animated content using virtual reality. So that's my day job. I write a lot of music. I perform under a couple different names. I'm always changing hats that way too. I like writing a lot, so I'm trying to write a book right now for the first time in uh, my adult life. I grew up in a family where my parents were split up from uh, pretty much when I was zero. Maybe I was one. I, I wasn't counting back then. I went through, you know, a string of different stepdads and scenarios and lived in a lot of different places and um, probably the first the first one where I, I really kind of realized I was struggling was I went to a school, I was busing into kind of from the poor neighborhood into, uh, you know, into this French school. And it was rough. I was picked on. There was always like, you're, you know, you're like, I guess I was bullied. I, I didn't really consider it bullying exactly, but I was, you know, had to learn to like deal with not being liked and not being uh, accepted by a lot of kids or being an easy target. And so I would come home and I remember telling my dad, like, I just, I hate this. I really want to change schools. I really am unhappy here. I don't like these people. And uh, that wasn't an option. My dad said, face your problems. I spent a lot more time in the principal's office after that because I was, uh, I fought back. And I, yeah, I didn't like it, but I kind of got into the habit of, well, if someone wants to go, you, you know, you're, I'm not going to back down. So that sucked. And uh, around grade seven, I changed schools and I went to a new school. I sort of reversed the role and I came into this new scenario really defensively. And I, by the end of that year, I realized I was the bully. I, I don't know that I was the whole contributor to this, but a kid changed schools because of our actions and he felt that awful and like I know how bad I felt and then doing that to someone else like it really it, it just it really bugged me and by the end of this that that grade seven I realized like I don't want to be this I don't want to do this I'm done fighting but we moved again and that like separated me from that and now suddenly I was just free of all this stuff and I could start processing and I like lucked into uh, like high school by that point and I lucked into a group of friends who were just night and day. They were just like a huge uh, positive influence in my life and suddenly I was like I just got to do this 180 and I got to decide who I wanted to be and yeah, like my life wasn't conflict free at that point, but um, having gone through both sides of bullying was really uh, something and I got to sort of just wipe that slate clean. That was huge. Around that time, we, uh, my mom was with uh, my stepdad. They were married for about 15 years uh, and I was, I started, like, I was a pretty flamboyant kid. Um, you might say I looked like a rainbow threw up all over someone uh, half the time. And I just, I was, whatever goes, I was like, I was a punk. I dyed my hair every color. I, like, wore strange Irish buttons. I had a collection of Irish pins for some odd reason. Um, you know, all manner of, like, my pants looked like a Chesterfield. I was, and so my stepdad, and, it, Actually, it got really bad when I decided I wanted to become a vegetarian. So, stopped eating meat, and that just became an absolute conflict at home. And my stepdad, I think pretty much every day for about a year until I started eating meat again, I, I got to hear the word faggot. Every, every day, just that's what he called me. And like not, you know, my mom's not around and stuff like that but like he just like drilled that in and you're like wow like this is this is not uh, a positive experience and we we got into like out and out fist fights a couple of times like really bad fights at home where he 
had these ideas about this being his house and this being, you know, this is like, you know, my rules. And like, he'd try to pull rank when I had friends over and stupid things like that. And they would often escalate. And like a lot of, like, he just was not the type of person to be able to express himself except through anger. You pick that up as a kid though, right? Like, obviously I picked that up earlier on in the, in, like, defending myself and bullying and all of that. And no male in my life, like no, you know, adult figure that I saw could talk about their feelings, could talk about what they're going through, could talk about what any of that stuff meant. So neither do you, right? You don't, you don't learn that language. And you don't, you're not going to talk to your buddy Derek or, you know, Drew at school and go like, hey, so I'm having some problems and I'm really, you know, feeling like you're not going to be vulnerable. You're going to, like, you're going to get called names. You're going to be the weak guy. You're, so you just, you can't, right? And that whole culture is just really, like, it, uh, like, the anger that comes from that really got to me after a while. And, like, I, I think I developed the habits that you sort of mimic and I don't, um, I don't know that you even realize you're doing it, but it's almost like when the only okay emotion you're allowed to express is anger, you just sharpen that tool and you sharpen that thing. And then like any little thing, you just turn and it's just the first gut reaction. And like, that's not who you want to be. That's not a good, uh, like, that's not going to be great for your relationships with your friends, with a partner. Finding help was something I put off for a long time. I don't think therapy is that useful as like an exploring your past often as it is giving you the tools to bring to a new situation. Like understanding your past is important because it's where you came from. It's where those things like those habits formed, but you still have the habit. You still have to go through the process of, of, of like, being given a little tool and try it out this week. If you have an angry moment or a thing, do this instead. And then I like concertedly had to do that for years and now feel like I have a pretty great life. I have a tremendous relationship. Uh, we talk about absolutely everything. We are, it's so supportive. It's crazy. I'm absolutely the luckiest. I, I'm also the type of person I never shut up. I just, I go, go, go. So, you know, friends who can also do that. I think that's probably a, like gift in disguise is if you never stop talking, eventually you'll talk about your feelings. Probably one of the, like, one or two of the better tools I use now is really just taking space. Uh, I'm, I like, sometimes you feel yourself like getting up a level and I have a, I get really excited and I have uh, like, I get loud. And even when I'm just like, like really jacked about something, uh, it can be perceived as anger and I don't realize it. So that's how much anger has permeated my personality. And it's like the thing I hate about myself the most that just, sorry, that's, that's actually tough to like talk about. It's just your whole life being misunderstood for like being so excited, being like, oh my God. And people are like, hey, you need to back it off. You're scaring me. Biggest thing, feelings are just, they're like waves that you just have to let pass, right? They're not permanent. And yet we attribute so much of our identity to the feeling we have right now in the moment. You take the space to allow it to actually pass through you and then you find it actually passes pretty quickly and the feeling probably didn't matter as much, but you still just need a simple recognition. Your feelings are valid. They're complex. They're not always right, but they also pass. They're not forever. So talk about them, take some deep breaths, find your way through them. They come and go. And the more you're willing to talk, to find supports, the more you're willing to explore them in healthy ways other than just getting mad and upset, uh, you're gonna have a lot better of a time. <laughs>